Hello everyone, I'm Narakich. If you want to know more about Russia and you understand my English, please welcome to my channel and to my kitchen, because all important political questions in Russia we discuss on the kitchen. You ask it to me about Ukraine and the Donbass, I have something for you. Yeah. Cruel destiny pushed me back to your arms. It's okay, it's not so serious, don't worry. The same about this war, it's not so serious. And it looks like not only Russian, but all over the world during the last two years, we understand already that the more media exaggerate and frighten us about any news, the more it's... Uh, during the last two years, I understand something that it's impossible to do something that is opposite of opinion of majority of population. For example, this bake opt of uh, immunization in Russia. As you see, Russian people bake opt uh, uh, these uh, very useful uh, injections of uh, Botox. In conclusion, we didn't have this strong lockdown, yes, this mandatory immunization for everyone. We didn't have it. But in that country, the way people were persuaded to accept all that, they paid for that a lot. And for the moment I explain you the mood of Ukrainian people from Donbass and Russia. Nobody wants this war, we don't expect that, we don't want that. All Russian people and I mean all Slavic people will say for what I will fight, for whom? I don't want this war. In fact, we don't care who are our ma masters and during the last two years we divorced it with our state. I explain you, I, I have impression that Russian and Ukrainian people will completely stop to believe in any government, in any Putin, Zelensky, doesn't matter, we don't want them. Now everything what we want is want we want to break free. Yes, what is the what is the freedom for Russian people? I explain you. It's when you don't pay tax and when you don't have any documents, you don't have any relations with the state. That is our dream. When you don't have any issues with the state. Yesterday I drink vodka with my friend from Donbass. And I see how he changed his mood because like five years ago, eight years ago, he was absolutely in love with Putin, with Russia. He said, yes, we want to be part of Russia. Yes, we would like, we hate this and need the Ukrainians. Uh, they won't kill us. Now I see how he changed. He gets in so calm. He understands that Russia doesn't need them, that they will never participate to Russia like Abkhazia or any other countries. Uh, and uh, they understand that they don't want independence. In fact. And recently they presented this announce of leaders of DNR LNR who demand from Putin, please prove our independence. But it's not the wish of uh, people from Donbass. They don't want it. They understand that now they're absolutely destroyed. They can't survive in this situation. So I want to say that people from Donbass, they accept to be Ukrainians. So what is the war? I don't believe live in this war, I'm sorry. Before it was a rich region with the mines of coal and different other mines. Now all of these mines, can you imagine they're destroyed, they're underwater, so sad. They, they understand that they are not Crimea, that they will not survive as independent country. So you see all this mood is exaggerated, exaggerated, uh, the same as it was with this big flu. For example, yesterday, yes, this council uh, of uh, safety, yes, uh, where there were Putin and uh, Russian ministers, uh, and they discussed this situation and how it was presented. And that is uh, funny because this uh, video, it was not published online, it was edited. But in the same time, on that video, yes, on that council conference, only Putin, who are funny, he has sarcasm, he has sense of humor, and it's presented like rest of all the ministers, like they're scary a lot, they're so scary, they're so scary. I don't believe in that, I'm sorry. I understand that these people, these people they're best, the best actors. If they want to present that they're calm, they will present that they're calm. If they want to present, to show that they, everyone is nervous, that oh, it's uh, hy hysteric, hysteric, something would happen. They even keep this episode. Uh, one of ministers, he said, Говорите прямо. Я поддержу предложение о признании 
Поддержу или поддерживаю? Говорите прямо, Сергей. Поддерживаю предложение. Только скажите, а, так, да, да а или нет. Да? Поддерживаю предложение о вхождении Донецкой и Луганской народных республик в состав Российской Федерации. Да, мы, об этом, мы об этом не говорим, мы этого не обсуждаем. Мы говорим, мы говорим о признании их независимости или нет. Да. Я поддерживаю предложение о признании независимости. Хорошо. Пожалуйста, садитесь. Спасибо. The keep this episode in this video, but this video it was not online. I want to say that they want to frighten us to present information more danger than it is in reality. In conclusion, I just don't believe in this war. I have impression that it will be like with this big flu that will be war on TV. I have impression that it will be kind of uh, for, for Russia, it will be advertising of their weapon, maybe they will. Uh, uh, got uh, some new contracts for supplying some weapon for Ukraine and the USA. It's uh, another reason they need to uti utilize it. Yes, some weapons, old American weapons uh, that now is uh, supplied to Ukraine. After that, uh, they want to spend uh, some money. I promise you, regular people will not go to the to this war. That will be war of professionals. I explain you. That will be very expensive movie. Boys just want to pet some Kalashnikov about sanctions. Everyone understands that uh, some now level of sanctions is so high that there is just not, there is no reserve to increase them. You remember I told you that it will be an iron curtain, that this wall will grow up. So you see everything as I say. So uh, yes, and about the sanctions, because majority of the Western nations, they don't care about Ukraine already, okay, it was uh, cool to discuss uh, five years ago, now people just don't care, they say we don't care, that is on another continent, it's uh, very far from us, give me my salary or give me my rights, what I want. Conclusion, don't listen to any civility, don't uh, read any news, because all of that is just, for the moment, it's just a cinema. Let me remind you two principles of Western media. First, I will not publish something that my readers will not like to read. And second, I will not publish opinion of regular people. I will publish only opinion of professional. In conclusion, we have this media that we have now. Please support small bloggers because there, there are some seeds of truth on their small channels. I hope this video was interesting for you. Thumbs up and subscribe on my channel. Ah yes, guys, and leave the comments, please. And remember, the best compliment for blogger is a repost.